And on the back straight in the Yokomo through the sweeper and into the infield. You can see the dark stripe around the track. That is where the facility put down sugar water so and soda. You know, just the syrup of soda to get the grip up. There's been some debate around how the traction has been applied. They decided to do no changes last night. Just left the track alone, and they did some untimed practice on it this morning. Cars look pretty good coming off the track, and we're seeing times comparable to what we saw yesterday. Underway, first lap in, it is Matsukura, Wilk, and Folker. Reinhardt in the fourth spot. Hagberg runs fifth. As we are settling into the heat, there is Ronald Folker from Germany. Round two TQ. He sure wouldn't mind getting another one. Driver is coming around for lap number three. And it's going to be Matsukura, Folker, and Hagberg. Hagberg, part of the resurging X-ray contingent in the third spot. Wilk in the fourth spot in the Tamiya. Picking up Victor Wilk in the yellow, the blue, and the white. From Sweden, he's down the back straight through the sweeper and into the infield. Drifting that car slightly around that double apex right. Through the short chute, and he now has Akio Subue on his tail. Also in a Tamiya chassis. They're down the back straight. It is Matsukura, Folker, and Reinhard. Sabue getting it wrong and getting past. Six laps in. It's Matsukura, Folker, and Christopher Krop moving up to the third spot now in the Kyosho. Hagberg runs fourth, Wilk in fifth, Grosskamp sixth. And Reinhard tumbles down the order after running an 18-3. So we have Wilk and Krop together on the track. Krop getting it wrong in the in the right-hander, spins out, and Wilk continues on unaffected. And Crop right back on his gearbox, so Christopher Crop in the Kyosho has a missile right now. Running third on the clock. It's my mistake. I think that was Bruno Coelho that's currently... Uh, duking it out with one and a half minutes to go it is Folker, Matsukura and Krop your top three, the pace 17.501 for Germany's Ronald Folker so it looks like the track has slowed down in the heat of the day Checking in on this battle between Victor Wilk, and I think that's either Bruno Quelio or Christopher Krop. Let's take a look as they cross the line here. Having a little trouble picking it up, picking up the other car. There is Christopher Krop in the white and orange Kyosho, so I think it's Bruno Quelio. Yeah, that, so I think it's uh, Bruno Quelio who's been duking it out with Victor Wilk on the track for most of this heat. Meanwhile, Matsukura moves out front by the smallest of margins, two hundredths of a second over Folker. We're running into the end of this heat. Folker and Matsukura trying to duke out who's going to get TQ in this one. Folker, Matsukura, and Krop with Reinhard in the mix as well. Looks like Krop had a rough lap. 
has fallen down to the fourth spot. There is Volker trying to put his stamp on round number three. Matsukura finishes up. Volker finishes up. Matsukura TQ's round number three with a 17.502.1, finishing a tenth of a second back as Ronald Volker. Reinhardt finishes third. Wilkin fourth. Hagberg fifth. Crop tumbles all the way down to sixth after running third. Grosskamp finishes seventh. Quelio eighth. And Sabue ninth. In a heat that looked like a lot of trading of punches between Victor Wilk and Bruno Quaglia, I have to wonder if there's words being exchanged on the driver stand. That's the end of round number three. We're going to take a, about a 20-minute break. We'll be back with round number four to begin the afternoon here in Florida. From the World Championship winning team at HB comes the latest in a long line of groundbreaking, state-of-the-art racing chassis. We proudly present to you the Pro 5 Competition 110 scale four-wheel drive touring car. Using its vast knowledge of competition chassis design, the HB R&D team set out to create the next level touring car platform. The HB Pro